Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to set up your course default settings so that when you populate or create courses, it will take on that default settings. So let's go to Site Administration and then click on Courses and then under Courses, we click on Course Default Settings. Now, this is really important that you set these beforehand, before you create any courses. That way you know um, that the courses will all act the same. And since I'll be showing you in subsequent videos um, by making use of the course um, template, this will really be useful. When we set up the template, we can use that over and over and over again. Okay. Okay. So in our course default settings, our first option or our first setting here is visibility. And um, just a uh, thought here that while you are busy with setting up your course or creating your course, I suggest you hide the course. Okay. Once you are sure that all your elements or your course elements are in place, you can actually come in here and then show within each course um, the course. Okay. So for now, let's hide this since we don't want users to access the course and then start doing the activities uh, whilst you're still busy. Okay. Then enable download course content. If you want students to download your course content, maybe on a mobile device, you can choose yes here from the drop down list and they will be able to download your content. Okay, now the number of participants per page. Okay, so within your course, when you click on participants, um, and I'll show you later on, the number of participants will be 20 that will be displayed. Okay, and then the next page will be 20 Then the next page. Okay, if you want to increase the size per page, you can specify here, let's say I want to show 50 students per page. Okay, for now I'll leave it on 20. If we scroll down, we come to course format, and this is basically the format that the course uh, will display in. Okay, it's currently set to topics format, and usually I choose weekly format, and I'll show you later on why I choose weekly format. Okay, um, then the maximum number of sections by default it's four, um, and I want to set it to fifty-two. So there should be fifty-two. It's actually 52 weeks that will be displaying in my course. Okay. The number of sections, and this will also be four. So I'll leave it on four. The number of sections per course applies to certain course formats. Okay. So weekly and 52 sections. And then when I scroll down under hidden sections, I'll leave it on its default. And then course layout. I'll also leave this on its default because it will only show all sections on one page and not per page in a course. Okay. Then I scroll down course end date enabled by default. Yes, I leave that on check or I can uncheck it and specify the course end date depending on when my course starts. Okay. I can do this on in the course level. Then the course duration is uh, usually 365 days. So it's one year, but I can specify here uh, the number of weeks. So let's say it's 52 weeks uh, and I can specify it there. Okay. So let's leave it on days 365. Okay. So now under appearance, you can force a language. So let's say you have more than one language pack installed. Uh, in your Moodle site, you can actually select the specific language that uh, you want all learners to um, take, okay? Or all learn you force the language on all learners, okay? The number of announcements, I'll leave this on one um, and not on five, and then show gradebook to students, yes. Show activity reports to students, yes, and then show activity dates, yes. Then the file uploads, I usually uh, set this to 10 megabytes because I don't want students to upload large um, videos or other files um, that can slow down my Moodle site. So I'll leave this on 10 megabytes. And then completion tracking, I usually turn this to yes. And then completion activity, uh, show activity completion conditions, yes. This is basically when the student watched a video or submitted a quiz or submitted an assignment, um, Moodle um, automatically 
graduating mark to say yes the student did submit a quiz the student obtained the mark and so forth okay then under groups i leave it on its default no groups and then forced to no but i can specify this on a group level let's click on save changes okay so there's all my settings so let's test these default settings out i'll go to home and i'll click on add a new course okay so the course full name is basically just what the name of the course is and then the course short name what will be displaying in the breadcrumbs okay category name where the course will sit in in which category the course will sit in and i can search here for category we've set the course visibility to height and we don't want students to see it yet because we're still busy with setting up the course the course start date we can determine and you'll see the end date is already determined depending on what we've selected in the course default settings and this is based on the four, four sections that we've selected okay and I'll change it now to see what it reflects. The course format, we've chosen weekly format. The number of sections, we'll choose 52 sections, okay? And we'll, hidden sections will not be, will be completely invisible to students. Um, and then under appearance, you'll see there, do not force the language. The number of announcements is one. Grade book to, uh, show grade book to students, yes. And show activity report, yes and show activity dates yes the file upload we've set to 10 and then the completion pro uh, tracking we've set to yes and yes and then the groups we didn't specify any groups and then the role renaming uh, let's leave this for now and also the tags and this is basically what it is okay so we've set up um, <coughs> If we should save this now, it will take this 52 and recalculate this start and end date. Okay, so let's test that out. Let's go to our site administration again. Go to courses and then course the default settings. So we've set this to 52. Let's specify 52 here again and then save it. And I'll show you now how it will reflect now so let's go to home add a new course and now if we scroll down you'll see there if it starts on the 10th of october it will end on the 9th of october 2023 so it recalculated that because we've included the 52 um, sections of the 52 weeks since mine is in a weekly format so and this is really important if you want to make use of the ai functionality within Moodle okay this is important because your course needs an, a start date and an end date to actually show um, that students are falling behind so um, the AI in the background uses these two fields the course start date and the course end date to actually determine which students are falling behind okay so this is really important and we'll speak more about the AI uh, model or analytics um, in subsequent videos okay so for now we've set up the course default settings and in our next video i will show you how to set up a course template and from that course template we can actually populate uh, all our different courses i really hope this video was helpful please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel